District number two in the center of Sirte, where Gaddafi's fighters made their last stand. Even though they were up against superior numbers and firepower, they put up a tough fight. We're at the western edge of the front line in Sirte, and there's some considerable force here of fighters. Uh, but they've stalled here. They haven't moved any further forward. In some areas around here, they've in fact moved backwards. So the resistance is still strong from the pro-Gaddafi forces. They're showing no signs of giving up just yet. But it wasn't to last. On Thursday morning, Gaddafi loyalists tried to break through the lines and escape. The burnt out cars, evidence of their failure. And then the news that Muammar Gaddafi was one who tried to flee and was captured. It explained why the stubborn resistance. This mobile phone footage shows the moment the former Libyan leader was taken. At this point, he was alive, but witnesses say he had been wounded, possibly in the shoulder. When we captured Gaddafi, we did not hit him. Of course, there was a little hitting. We hit him a little in the beginning. This is the defense ministry's watch, and Gaddafi was sitting on this gun, and he had a gold pistol. Shaken but silent, he was taken in an ambulance to Misrata, flanked by scores of military vehicles. The shouts and cheers of the fighters reflecting their prized prisoner, but yet to divulge his identity for security reasons. But before arriving, he died. These exclusive images were again captured on the mobile phones of fighters. Exactly what happened is not clear, but that was not important to these men who filled the streets of Sirte with celebratory gunfire. Gaddafi's defense minister and head of military intelligence were both said to have been killed Thursday. They sang of victory and a new Libya. There were some pockets of resistance which were soon mopped up. Prisoners were paraded through the streets. It was claimed they were either mercenaries or die-hard loyalists. Some showed signs of physical abuse and were terrified. They were driven off to an unknown location. But among the celebrations, a drive through the rubble gave an idea of the true cost of the battle for Sirte. Hardly a building remained unscathed. Evidence of the intense fighting was everywhere. And the human cost. A body in the street and in the grounds of the small clinic in the heart of the combat zone, the graves of 24 men, probably Gaddafi fighters, buried almost where they died. What started as a peaceful protest in Benghazi eight months ago has finally ended with the death of the man who called his people rats and cockroaches. But he was right about one thing. He said he would die in Libya. Debate is bound to continue about exactly how Gaddafi was killed, but the fact is alive no matter whether in captivity. He could still rally support and therefore cause problems. Dead, he can't. And his death brings a form of closure to this brutal conflict and now allows a new Libya to truly begin. Tony Berkeley, Al Jazeera, CERT.